What's going on YouTube? Lane from Lane Pipes here, and I have a public service announcement. Google Fit is a piece of shit. You can't recognize me riding a motorcycle from riding a bicycle. So yeah, fuck Google, Google Fit. I need to find a workout app that actually isn't crap. Anyhow, so uh, the Instagram thing kind of blew up. Like way more than I expected it to. I've got like eight or nine people following me, and I'm following like 40 people already. And I likes it. It's easy, quick interaction with people. So, uh, color me a hypocrite. Call me a hypocrite. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, I went to bike night tonight, and I went to a pipe event at the Wharf, the pipe shop in Dayton here. Both were happening tonight. So, I went to the, well, the Wharf first, and I got to meet Eric Stokeby. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. He's a fourth generation tobacconist based out of Dublin, I believe. And I got to check a look at his pipes that he's selling that he has made in France from imported Italian briar. And got to check out a few of his tobaccos. I ended up having a pipe of the 1982. It's like a, a light aromatic blend. It's really tasty. So yeah, uh, Eric still could be. That's what I got into today with him. I chatted with him for probably 20, 30 minutes. It was really cool. Really relaxed event. Excuse me. So then I went to bike night. I uh, We have this restaurant here called Quaker Steak and Lube. It's like a automobile-themed BW3s, basically. I don't know how big they are as a chain, but I know they are a chain. But we have bike night here every Thursday night, and tonight was the first one. And we had this band Southbound playing. They were like a southern rock cover band and a whole bunch of really cheap beers and uh, shit you not, probably 150 bikes and only four of them were crotch rockets. So I brought my ninja out there just to see how many crotch rockets would show. I'll probably bring the Harley next time, but uh, it was really fucking cool. I had always wanted to get involved with the bike scene and hadn't and didn't really, even tonight, even though I got out there and had a good time, I just ended up like listening to the band, watching the Reds game that was going on, and just having fun. I had a couple beers, had some wings, spent like three hours out there. It was a good time. Came home and kept on drinking, so I apologize. Because I'm in one of those states now. I have leftover brew from camping last weekend, so drinking some Bush Light, baby. Good Republican beer, according to my friend Tom. <laughs> Whatever, it's cheap and it doesn't taste like shit. So I'm smoking my uh, K. Woody right now, K. Woody Campus with the Stinger. I've put five bowls through it at half pack, so I've got a good cake base starting at the bottom of the bowl. So I packed it up just over three quarters today. And this time I filled it up with some Dunhill early morning pipe. And I'm excited because while I was at the wharf earlier, I did some investigating. And I found out that they carry damn, they carry Navy Flake. Uh, they carry several types of Frog Morden, including Frog Morden on a log and Frog, Frog Morden Cellar. And, uh, I didn't see any Mississippi River. I was really hoping to find some, but I didn't really give it a good hard look either because they had the event going on and two guys trying to peddle their wares and it felt weird just kind of looking at the regular shop tobaccos they stocked when all that shit was going on. So I'll go back there later. But, um... pretty excited in general. I mean, today was a good day with the bike night and the fucking event going on at the wharf. I just stumbled into that. I uh, I left the house earlier today and ran some errands. And I was up by the wharf and I was running errands and I had a pipe with me and I said, fuck it, I'll go in there and try another, try a Virginia because I hadn't tried a Virginia yet. A Virginia blend. And I tried a, what's called a full Virginia and it specifically said this is a great mixing tobacco. I mean, it was just pure Virginia um, long cut. 
And it tasted like I was smoking a fucking cigarette out of my pipe. It was weird. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't harsh. But it wasn't something that I'd go for. I, I'd just go get cancer sticks if I wanted that. But I could easily see taking that and mixing it in something else to smooth it out and sweeten it up a little bit. I don't personally feel that I'm ready for blending yet. But, um... It'll get there, eventually. So, I don't want to keep this video too long. I'm in a much better overall mood than I was yesterday. Partially because I came home and had a few more beers after I got home too. So I'm kind of tipsy right now and I'm fighting off the skeeters in my garage. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to hang out out here. But, uh, that was just really satisfying today. Because that's something that I told myself I was going to do for a long time. Go to a bike night, and I never did. For like a year and a half, I've been telling myself I was going to do that. And I didn't really talk to that many people. But I mean, everybody was a fucking Harley rider. Nobody shows up in fucking gear. I saw like five helmets the whole night. And I know this is on a bike channel, but I'm going to bitch for a minute. Because, fuck man, Harley riders don't wear gear. I've crashed a bike twice. I know how important gear is because I was lucky enough to be wearing it both times. And the second time I went down, I smashed my head pretty hard. I broke the helmet. I had to replace the helmet. So. These people not wearing gear, but. I mean, along the notes of what I talked about in my last video, like. Yeah, I, I pushed myself to go to a social event. There were probably 150, 200 people on the outdoor patio there. I was smoking a pipe at the bar all night while I was having a beer or two and eating my wings and watching the game. It was a good fucking time. But I didn't talk to anybody, really. But that's a start. For me, that's a good night because I'll go do that again next week and the week after that. And eventually I'll start having people come up to me and say, Hey, I recognize you here. What's going on? And blah, blah, blah. And bam, I have connections. I know that's a really puss-ass way to do things, but there were very few people in my age range or riding crotch rockets. So, overall, I consider this to be a success. This is progress, goddammit, and I'm excited about it. And honestly, like, talking about what I had to yesterday with this channel, getting that shit out there has really motivated me to fucking go for it. So, kudos to you guys. Um... I got to talk about the Chicago Pipe Show with, uh, goddamn, I'm not going to be able to pronounce his last name, Eric Stokeby, while I was chatting with him, and he was talking about how big it was and how cool it was and how it's really not that hard to get to. I thought it was downtown, but apparently he said it was like on the southeast edge of town, like by uh, Gary, Indiana. So that's totally accessible, but I'm going to attempt to make a shot in Nashville. It depends on what job I have by then, because I'll be employed probably within the next three or four weeks. And I have to see what I can do about getting a weekend. Hopefully I'm just working a standard 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going for, but we'll see. And if that's the case, though, I will be there in Nashville. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to hopefully doing that. And so that's about all I got. So hit me up on Instagram if you haven't already. Uh, it's Lane Pipes on Instagram, just like it is here. Uh, again, if you want to, please comment, leave me recommendations on who you think I should sub to. Give me your contact information if I'm not sub to you, either on YouTube or Instagram. I am thoroughly impressed with Instagram. I thought it was going to be shit. I really like it. I'm having fun with it. I've posted several photos in a one-day span. It's great. So leave me your contact info. I will follow you, sub you, whatever. Or recommend me people that you think would be good. Because this is awesome. I'm loving this integration. And the fact that you guys have already helped me out from my last video means the world to me. So thank you very much. I love you guys. Stutter especially. You guys kick ass. I can't find anything to fault you with. I am totally the polar opposite of you guys. I'll say that straight out. There's very few things we relate on. That doesn't matter though. You are awesome human beings. And that's what counts that's entirely what counts so youtube pipe community keep kicking ass i'll catch you guys later